Microsoft has released Omniparser V2. So this can help turn any LLM into a computer use agent. They have also released OmniTool. So what is OmniTool? OmniTool can control a Windows 11 virtual machine with Omniparser plus your vision model of choice. So let's look at the OmniTool demo. So OmniTool, if you look at, it has three components. One is your uh, Omnibox, which is your Windows 11 virtual machine running in a Docker container. Then it has Omniparse server, which is a fast API server running Omniparser v2. And then there is a Gradio UI to provide commands and watch reasoning plus execution on Omnibox. So here is the demo of that. So here it says use Omniparser plus any LLM to control a computer. So in the Gradio UI, you can put a task, a prompt like help me buy some milk on Instacart. So this uh, starts the whole process. And if you see over here, here you can see the chatbot history and the set of actions which it performs. So it says first to buy milk, I need to, let's go a little bit back. Yeah, to buy milk on Instacart, I need to open a web browser first. Google Chrome is visible on the desktop. I'll double click on it to open the browser. Next action is double click. Where is the coordinate, which is the box ID. It goes and clicks on that and then it performs the next set of actions. So the following action is after then is opening instacart.com and it says over here, uh, you know, little bit, I'll go back. So it says uh, the Instacart web page for Instacart has opened, but the interface is still loading to proceed further. I need to wait. Uh, so the next action is wait, then it waits, then it gets this particular pop-up. And then what it does is that I need to close this pop-up. So that is the next set of action, which happens. It closes the pop-up and then it starts uh, after closing the pop-up. It's uh, it says that, you know, I have this particular screen where I have to actually search for milk, search product stores and recipes where I can search for milk to proceed with purchasing milk. I need to type milk in the search bar and the next action is typing this. The next action is pressing the search button. And once it is done, uh, it says that I can see a lot of milk products. Okay. The current screen displays the result page for milk products. After the search query milk was submitted, various milk products are now visible, including their details to proceed. I need to initiate the selection process by clicking on the available products, one of the available products such as this Fred Mayer vitamin D whole milk and then it adds to the cart. Once it adds to the cart, you see over here this screen pops up which asks for credentials, right? So it says that to proceed further, user credentials needs to be entered. Without access to user credentials, I cannot proceed further. Okay, so the next action is none. Similarly, you can uh, in the Gradio UI, you can put a prompt like I want to book flights. Then it opens up uh, your uh, Chrome. It will actually try for flight uh, uh, booking sites and over there it will search for the flight based on your requirements. Okay. So Omnibox is the tool which makes use of Omniparser V2 to perform actions on your computer screen. Basically automate the entire uh, computer screen. So here is a demo of Omniparser V2. So here it says that convert any UI to boxes. So this is a UI. So Omniparser, it converts over here into boxes, gets the coordinates and gets the, uh, you know, identifier for each of the box. Okay. So you can use it anywhere. You can use it on the browser. So web agents can make it on the browser. Uh, coding agents can be done where it looks at the coding screen. It can work as OS agents. Uh, you know, this is on the OS system to perform OS operations. It is quite fast 0.8 seconds per frame. So that is how it looks like. Okay. So if you look over here again to the demo, just to make the point clear over here, if you see over here, it identifies the various boxes, right? Uh, and uh, there is an ID to each box over here. So help me buy some milk on Instacart if you see next. So over here, if you see that it has identified various boxes on the screen, box ID six is your Google Chrome and then it clicks on this. Okay. So this is about Omniparser and Omni, uh, Omniparser V2 and the Omni tool. Uh, 
so you can actually install Omni tool on your machine. It supports various uh, basic uh, vision models like OpenAI 4.0, O1, O3 mini. Uh, by default, it supports DeepSeek R1, Quen 2.5 VL or Anthropic Sonnet. Uh, this particular Omni tool uh, has three uh, components. One is an Omni parser, which is a fast API server running Omni parser v2, Omni box, which is a uh, basically a Windows 11 virtual machine running in a Docker container and a Gradio user interface. Uh, installation uh, instructions are given over here. You can check it out. I'll put this link in the description of the video. Now, what is exciting about Omni parser v2 is that it seems to perform very well. Uh, state of art average accuracy on the recently released grounding benchmark screen spot pro uh, which features high resolution screen and tiny target icons this is a substantial improvement on gpt 4s original score of 0.8 okay so here are various models how they are performing so previously i had covered ui tars which was another computer uh, use agent so this performs better than that on this particular benchmark and this is open source all the sources released over here so you can go and check it out they have released the weights for this particular model as well on hugging face this is an interesting development from microsoft um, so you have operator from openai which is a closed source tool and now you have this kind of an open source version coming out from microsoft where you also have uh, the flexibility of using various vision models to do this. So this is a short video on Omniparser V2. I hope the video is useful. See you in another video.